Yo, Yo Chaps of the, the Making, and welcome back to Legendary Adventures. My name is Eli, aka that Big Sauce Gamer. And I'm Becky, aka Small Fries. Alright, squad, so we already went down the Community Day, well... Top tiers. Top tiers. Who who you should really pick, and who should you really be grinding for. Because, you know, it's a video that was requested by none other than Vincent. But this, this is your Community Day tips, tricks, and the actual breakdown. You know, who's in the eggs, who to expect on, yes. on what days to grind, and then, of course, the ups of it, and then the downs of it. And the bonuses as well. That's what we're here about. All about the bonuses. Well, fam, before we go ahead and dive any further, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and smash the notification bell so you can be notified of, well, the community tips, tricks, and videos, all the great counter guides that we do, and of course, any tips and tricks and videos that we go ahead and do help you get from level one all the way to 50. Oh, and of course, all the Pokemon Go vlogs and card openings and every, well, everything else that we do. But, fam, let's dive into it. All right, so we what well, we know already, fully for sure that we shared recently last time is the fact that we have the calm day we have community day double day weekend which always comes every december now much to to the bummer it wasn't everything that's been provided in the all the years of community day we only got 2019 and 2020 yes. now the breakdown initially was or the thought process was that we're going to get one one year one day but how is it going to be actually all right, fam, so we are going to go quickly over the raid pool and the two kilometer egg pool, whoa, whoa, and then whoa. we're going to break down the days. Wait, 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 what? why? Why? Are, aren't all the Pokemon available in the wild? No, some Pokemon are just going to be in the raid pool, not <gasps> out in the wild. Just like last year. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay. All right, so... Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, sorry, I, so just, I, don't, I don't like what this is done this way because... I feel like there's a lot of things that get held up behind walls. So the Pokemon featured in the raid pool is going to be Totodile, okay. Swinub, All right. Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, that little route, Slackoff, Trapinch, Bagon, Turtwig, and Chimchar. So in that case, if that's who's in the raid pool, because I, I only get one free raid pass a day, maybe I'll use my incubator to try to hatch someone. Who, who's in the 2k? Okay, so the 2 kilometer egg pool is the same as the raid pool. For both Saturday and Sunday? Yes. In that case, we're left with with what's available in the wild. Can, can, do you know the details in regards to Saturday's list and then, of course, Sunday's list? Wait, because I feel like there's uh, one of uh, the raids or something missing. The mega raids are going to change. Okay, so be aware that if you want to do some mega raids, because, you know, for, for all you trainers that are, you know, pushing up for level 40 and above, or for any trainer that's just trying to get that XP and, of course, get some mega candies, who's going to be available for it on Saturday? Okay, so Saturday, December 12th, this event starts from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. your local time zone. And the mega raid is going to be Gengar for Saturday. Ooh, now, fam, if you don't know already, if you can get that shiny Gengar and mega evolve it, it's a nice white color. It's very nice, just like the anime, so very cool. And then for the Pokemon appearing out in the wild, you're looking at Weedle, Abra, Ghastly, Rhyhorn, Seedot, and Piplup. Okay, there's there's a lot of good ones there for PvP that hold their own. Again, the list in itself is, is already created, so go watch that video. But this, this, mm, okay. So this is, you're looking at Saturday. And then for both days, you're looking at two times catch Stardust. Yes. So yes. that's a big plus. Make sure to throw up those star pieces for the whole duration of the event. Yeah. And also half egg hatch distance. So those two kilometer eggs are going to be hatching like that. Mm -hmm. And just a quick reminder for those who are able to play outside of your home, um, make sure that you know you take you know your portable chargers with you so that in case your Poke Plus or your phone begins to die out, you can go ahead and plug it in real quick. Just always a reminder, make sure you take the cable as well. Incense activated during this time frame are also going to be lasting three hours. Okay, all right. So For both days. Okay, for both days. All right. Okay, so moving on to December 13th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., you can expect Pokemon like Charmander, Electabuzz, Magmar, Magikarp, and Porygon to be appearing out more frequently in the wild with the shiny rates increase. Okay, all right. So I see how we're going to divide it. Trying to go ahead and replenish on Pokeballs is, is going to be a tough one. 
Bam. And then for Sunday, the Mega is going to be Mega Charizard X appearing in raids. Ooh, Mega Charizard, that's always nice. What I was going to mention, fam, is that if you can, I mean, I, I get it, it, it is hard. If you can, try holding up on opening up all your gifts till after Saturday's Calm Day, just so you can try to replenish so you can have plenty for Sunday, and just in case you can't get to somewhere to spin. But I know it, well, it's always it hard. It depends because there is going to be event exclusive time research and maybe those tasks are going to be telling you send gifts to friends okay i and did not know that so. yeah and that's going to be rewarding elite charge tms so Ooh. be on the lookout for those research tasks for okay. yeah and there's also going to be a one-time exclusive december community day box for the same 1280 poke coins but this box is awesome fam because you what? can get an elite fast tm and yes. one elite charge tm as well that in the never box. happens you usually have to get one yeah, it's usually one or the other, but this time it's both. So that's Perfect really worth it. Charizard. On top of that, you're getting 30 Ultra Balls and 5 Lucky Eggs to really grind out that experience, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's going to be so dope that's to get. Be dope. And then also, there's going to be a $1 storyline for the community days. So much to do. So that's going to be awesome to do, actually. Mm -hmm. Bam, that covers all the details in regards to it. Who comes out what days? Well, I'm so what to go excited. Ahead, We're so excited. I'm, 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 you know what? I'm, I think the I think I'm actually a little bit more excited to go after all the TMs. You know, all like the items. all the items, yes. just because you know I, I need to go ahead and, and build teams. Like this is this is a great time. And then of course with the whole tire being able to go ahead and tag your your Pokemon, it's setting up the PVP format and the rating thing to be a much easier. Yeah, story. let us know if you guys have any questions about these two community days. We're gonna be answering all your questions down in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, smash the notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next Legendary Adventures. Peace.